Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. So this is the Suzuki DS80 and I had told you guys it needed crank bearings. And so what I did is, I mean you can't hurt them any worse than they are, right? So what I did was I put the bike all together with my other carburetor. Now when I got this bike, I'm going to tell you guys what happened, okay? So when I got the bike... The carburetor was hanging off of it. And when I say hanging off of it, I'm about to show it on this side. All right. See how the carburetor sits into the boot? Right here, this little notch on top where the carburetor sits in. That was actually moved back. Okay. And the clamp was tight, but it wasn't around the carburetor. So it was hanging on to the very edge, and this became an air leak. And when that became an air leak, this engine became a lean conditioned bike all right so this is the tube right here from your automatic oiler and that wasn't getting oil you see nothing's nothing's even dribbling out of it and i'm not sure it does when it's running <laughs> but it doesn't matter i put a little bit of premix in this now this bike can be premixed but it really doesn't matter because the damage has already been done now the oil tank is full Right here, they got the, they got a full tank of premix in it, which I'm assuming, from the condition of it, was after the fact. It was already too late because it was completely topped off after the damage had already been done. So, what does a crank bearing look like? Well, I got a bearing right here. They are ball bearing rollers. Okay, and what happens is, see the center circle right here. This has a lot of up and down, left and light, uh, right play. And the bearings have actually chewed into what they call the race. Each one of these is a race, and it chewed into it. And when it chews into it, the crank actually kind of floats orbitally. And when it does, is it can create a lean condition because now it pulls up, the seal is going to leak at the bottom. So, these are not good. But I wanted to start this bike so you guys could actually hear what a bad crank bearing is before we take it apart because knowing the signs is very important and knowing what to listen for because i know a lot of you guys have like oh you know i turn the uh, flywheel and it sounds kind of gritty that is your first sign so what i did to find that out is i took this cover off right here and you can do this on all your bikes your ke's your kms all those take this cover off grab your flywheel and rotate it and you might be able to feel a grittiness in it almost like it's turning on sandpaper so let's get you guys in the stand i'm going to get this thing fired up but before i do please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so when i post the video you guys get it let's do it now this is going to be the last video on this bike for a little while because this is going to be totally back burner um, this is a winter project. We'll probably end up doing this in the house when the snow is flying. Um, because I want to go through this entire engine. Um, new piston, new rings. Unless I get the parts sooner. But we'll see how that is. But um, I did order new um, grips. No grips. Um, levers for clutch and brake. I have um, the gasket kit coming. And uh, I think there was one other thing I ordered for it. But either way. So we got the bike all together for the most part, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fire it up so you guys can hear it. But I, I, I want you guys to take a moment. If you guys have anything in the background running, stereo, um, anything, just turn it down so you guys can listen for the growl. You're gonna hear like a growling sound coming from the crank. I'm gonna actually get you guys a little closer um, so I can fire this thing up. I apologize for the shakiness in the video, but we're gonna we're gonna do this. All right, so give me a second here. Alright, sure the fuel is on. Choke it. Like I said, anything you guys have running in the background, shut it off. That way when you guys you guys can actually hear the growling. You can actually hear it as I'm kicking it over. Actually, I'll do that one more time. Ready? Hear that sound? That growling sound.
That, my friends, is the sound of bad crank bearings. And that right there is not a good thing at all. However, it's not really a bad thing for us because we're going to tear this thing apart and get into it. But, like I said, before I get to that point, we're going to uh, be doing finishing off some other projects. I want to make sure we get those all done first, get caught up, because the KE-102 build is before this. It has been stupid hot out, guys, so I really haven't been doing too many videos. I do apologize. I'm actually out here right now, and I'm dying. It is hot. It's like 95 degrees with high humidity. So I wanted to do a short video, let you guys hear what a bad crank bearing sounds like, and uh, all that type of stuff. So we're going to be, um, like I said, tearing this thing down and getting into it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps you guys. Um, hopefully you guys heard the, the sound um, that it was making, and you can compare that sound to your bike. And... Um, then we'll show you guys how to split the cases and do all that and replace crank bearings. Set your crank up. We're going to be doing all that. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the differences between reed valves, um, piston valves, which is the pistons actually got two holes at the bottom of it, um, which is what this is. This doesn't have, it has reeds at the bottom. It, it's a whole big thing. But I'll show you guys the differences between the two and how they all work. So we're going to be getting into uh, different scientific um, theories and stuff like that behind these two strokes because there are two strokes but there are different types of them there are reed valve two strokes rotary valve two strokes and piston valve two strokes so these are all the different types of two strokes the only one of these that can't be premixed is the rotary valve so if you have a rotary valve you have to use your automatic oil because it also lubricates your crank bearings on this one this is premixed through the you know it's got oil injection but if you didn't want to run the oil injection you can just delete it and premix this bike but i think that's what someone did to this thing i think they premixed it but left the oil uh, uh, hooked up so what happens when you leave your oil hooked up but you run a premix and your tank runs dry that's right it sucks air and air creates a lean condition and that's what causes this bearing to burnt up so i think that's what happened and they tried oh oh you're out of oil Oh no, so now they did that and well, there you have it. So I think that's what happened with the spike. Anyway guys, I'm off. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you guys have any comments or any questions, by all means, please send them down there. Thank you to all my new subscribers and I will be talking to you guys later. I'm out.